Good evening and welcome to Such the Reality. I'm Rinki Gogoi and you're watching the Reality Rundown. In today's bulletin, we bring you the latest update from across the globe. Take a look. The headmistress of Ananda Mohan High School in Bishkua, Dhubri, Sunita Bolaroy, finds herself embroiled in controversy as allegations surface of her demanding money from below poverty line students for filling up matriculation exam forms. This unethical practice has sparked outrage among parents and locals in the Golaganj area. The 74th major bob cutting day was celebrated with great enthusiasm in Tawang, a border town in Arunachal Pradesh on February 14, 2024. The Indian Armed Forces, Tawang Administration and locals of Tawang came together for the event held at the Tawang War Memorial Complex. The Election Commission has requested the Ministry of Home Affairs to provide 3,400 companies of Central Armed Police Forces amounting to 3.4 lakh paramilitary personnel for phased deployment during the Lok Sabha elections and assembly polls in Arunachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Sikkim. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh inaugurated the alternate housing complex at National Games Village in Langol today. The inauguration program was organized by the Manipur Municipal Administration Housing and Urban Development. Manipur police have arrested six people for looting arms from the Indian Reserve Battalion camp at Chingarel in Manipur's Imphal East District. As per police reports, four INSAS rifles, one AK Ghatak, two magazines of SLR and 16 boxes of 9mm ammunition were looted from the IRB camp have also been recovered. Assam rifles intercepted a significant drug haul in Tripura, seizing 434 kilograms of marijuana worth rupees 1.736 crores. The operation took place in the general area Churaibari under the jurisdiction of Churaibari Police Station, North Tripura District. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today received a ceremonial welcome and met with the Amir of Qatar in Doha on the second day of his official visit to Qatar. Additionally, Prime Minister Modi also held a bilateral meeting with the Amir of the State of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. A five-judge bench of Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur, Justices Sanjeev Khanna, B.R. Gavai, J.B. Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra delivered a unanimous verdict today, striking down the electoral bond scheme as unconstitutional. Members of the Goa State Cabinet led by Chief Minister Pramod Sawant are on a visit to Ayodhya where they are scheduled to offer prayers at the newly constructed Ram Temple. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav today filed his nomination papers as a BJP candidate for the third Rajya Sabha seat from Odisha. With that, we wind up our today's bulletin. For more updates, keep watching Such the Reality.